Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well. Today we've got some more Mandalorian news. So just the other day it was finally released. Gizmodo, get you, get out of here! <sighs> it was released just the other day that there is an awesome, really cool man named Pedro Pascal who is going to be joining the Mandalorian series. My speculation was that he was going to be the Mandalorian. I thought it made a lot of sense. I thought it would have been really cool. If you don't know anything about his work, once again, please go check out Game of Thrones. He plays the Viper, the Red Viper specifically, and holy crap, Oberyn Martell is just so badass, so awesome in so many different ways. Go check him out. This is kind of a bit of a news that I'm a little bit mixed on. I'm not going to lie. I I'm a little bit mixed on this. And the reason why is because if this person, as you can see, Gina Car Carano, C C Carano, sorry, Car Carano, G G Gina, if Gina here, sorry, I'm terrible with pronunciation uh, a lot of the time. But anyway, if she is being cast simply because she is a badass, which she is, then Boom, I'm all there for it. If this show is going to be about these two characters, if this show is centered on Pedro Pascal and Gina Carano the entire time, holy crap, that's a great show. That is an excellent show. Now, the reason why I'm a little hesitant to be too excited for this is because if Disney is continuing to move in this direction, this identity politics direction, and wants it to be a female-led series, not because... Not because they want to create an awesome, strong character, but because they want to do the whole future, you know, the forces female nonsense, then I think it's going to be a waste of a talented fighter. You know, so I'm not, you know, so I'm not going to say talented actress. You know, I think that she's fine. I think that she does the job that she needs to do, and I think that she is a badass on screen. I'll give you one great example. If you have never seen the movie Haywire, do yourself a favor and watch it. Not only is it brilliantly directed, not only is it just a fun time, but every single fight scene is real to the point where you actually feel every single hit. The reason why is because when they filmed those shots, they didn't add in in post hits or, you know, other side effects, you know, ADR effects. And that's what makes it so cool is because you were hearing the actual onset fighting between her because obviously she didn't really have a stunt double because she's a legitimate fighter and also whoever it is that she was fighting with and so it was real it was authentic so this is a woman who can lay down this is a woman who can do her own stunts and who can be a badass you put that on with Pedro Pascal who has also shown himself to be a badass if you look to his work in Game of Thrones you've got yourself a very very dangerously great combination but once again it all comes down to what the intent behind Disney is what they are trying to put forward why they are casting her and what kind of role she's going to be in because as i said before if they continue to go in this we ne we are going to make the force is female and that is going to be our driving force non-stop going forward then i'm gonna have a problem with this but if they're saying hey we just got two great actors both of whom have fighting skills both of whom could play badass characters and we're gonna have them play off each other the entire time guess what i'm sold I am sold on that idea. Why? Because that <laughs> that insinuates that you're going to have two very well-developed characters who have a backstory with each other. And you know what? That's what most of us want. That's what most audiences want. Most audiences want a good story with good characters with good development. You already have two actors that could pull that off. Again, Gina might not have the acting chops. Maybe this is her chance. Maybe this is her time. Maybe working with John Favreau. Maybe working with the various directors, Taika Waititi. Maybe they'll be able to bring something out of her so that she's more than just being seen as that badass chick that puts the scowl on the face and that's all she does. Because maybe there is something more to it. I don't think she's really been tested for that because she's been very typecast. And I think that might be the only reason why I don't see them putting her as the lead role. I don't see her, I don't see them putting her as the Mandalorian because if they want the show to succeed, they're going to need to have somebody that they can build the series on. And even though I think she could be an amazing secondary character, and it has nothing to do with the fact that she's a woman, it has everything to do with the fact that she's green. She is still green. She, she, she is better for fighting, for stunt work. That, she's got it. She is hands down one of the best at work working in that area but as far as actual dramatic acting that is where her chops need to be you know need to be addressed comedy same thing she needs a little bit more training there and so that's why i think if you were to put her with pedro pascal and pedro pascal with his natural charisma his natural charm being able to bounce off with this girl being the hardcore chick you know what that could be a working dynamic that could be the dynamic that makes people say dude i love this show because i love these two people working together but again this is all speculation on my part no parts have been announced yet no story has been revealed yet but all i can say is that disney if you are listening 
please do this. Please allow these two characters to work off each other, but do not put her in the lead role. Do not let her be the center of the show, and I say that only because of the fact that she is still a little bit green when it comes to dramatic performances, and that is the only reason why. But of course, everyone's going to say, oh, it's just because you're a sexist, you just don't want, you just don't want women in power. No, I have no problem with strong female characters. As I've pointed out before, Haywire, guess what? She was the lead in Haywire, and she did great for the part. You want to know why? Because it had more to do with her fighting. It had more to do with her fighting and dealing with these intense situations than it did with her actually having to act. Something tells me The Mandalorian is going to require a little bit more than just fighting, which is the reason why I don't see her as being that lead character. But you know what? You put her in with a charismatic actor like Pedro Pascal, and you're going to have a winner on your hands. But anyway, guys, what are y'all's thoughts on this? Do you think that this is a good casting choice? You know, obviously she was in Deadpool. You know, she was okay in Deadpool. I think she can be a badass. I think, you know, just from what I've seen, she can do the role. She can do the action. And I think that that's something that Star Wars so desperately needs right now is better action, better fighting sequences. And she can do it by herself. She does not need a stunt double to do this work. So what are your thoughts on that? Do you think they're going to try and put her in the lead role? Do you think that the dynamic between, again, as I said... When I hear Pedro Pascal and Gina Carano, if I see a double billing of that, if I see these are going to be the two characters playing off each other, that gets me excited for the series. And God knows in Star Wars right now, we need something to be excited about. We need something to be happy about. And that, and that would be it. But Disney, if you're just going to try and push out once, a, once again a gender-based agenda... Even if you have these cool characters that might be interacting, it won't be enough. You gotta hit the notes just right. Guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up, smash that like button, Seriously, give me some love. It really does mean a lot to me. And also leave some comments too. I'm not able to respond to all the comments. I'm not able to read all the comments as well. And what I mean by that is there's comments and then there's sub comments and then there's comments on comments and comments on comments and comments, etc. And I'm not able to read all of it, but I do try my very best to, to read as much as I can. And I always do appreciate to read not only con constructive criticism, not only agreement, but also disagreement as well, having that civil dialogue. And you guys are usually really, very good about giving that civil dialogue going. But anyway, guys, you are all amazing. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.